squeeze! There you go! There you go! There we go! Come on, big drive! There we go! Yeah, there we go. My whole thing is like, I felt like you were in pretty good shape. I, like, I think you were in 168 to 170 shape. We came here fucking three and a half days ago. It took us 24 hours and I hate making this excuse. And I, this is where I need feedback from you. Is like, did you feel like you had no energy? Cause like, to me, it was just like, it felt flat. Your first lift, your first snatch, I thought was, was you were moving well, like it looked solid. I think if you hit that first snatch, I think it's a whole different story. Do you feel like we've, one, either competed too much, or two, we should have traveled earlier, or three, did you feel like there was a lot of pressure? Because that's the one thing, like, people are saying to me, like, well, does she feel like there's a lot of pressure? Maybe she put all this pressure on herself. And my whole thing is, like, I don't fucking think it is, and, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, you hit, you hit 97 on a day when you had no business cleaning jerseys 97. And that was like the biggest pressure lift of your life when you fucking hit it. But this could be a meet where it's like, fuck, well now you're gonna, you're not gonna have as much confidence when you get back on the platform. So now I'm like planning, like how are we gonna get your confidence back up so that you know, like, like you're strong enough to snatch 77 right now. You're strong enough to fucking clean and jerk 100 kilos, but now we need to get your head strong enough. You need time off. We could go a month where all we do is technique work with our snatch and like the athlete athlete development type training shit that, that we were talking about. And it's like, she'll still be fine. Travel sucked. It wasn't optimal at all, but on top of that, it was too many meets. You know, I, I'm glad we did Pan Ams because now we can sit there and say like, okay, in the next two years for you to make the Olympics, like we've got to plan out the meets better. Uh, you have a total that can get you to the Pan Am Championships if they do have that at the AO final. The weekend after, I think, is when the world, the senior world qualifier is. But it, like, if they do end up having the, the Pan Am champs in Las Vegas, you're probably going to make that team. And that could be like the next meet you compete in. And that's not going to be until December. And that could be plenty of time for you to come back in good shape and feel good. They push that back and then keep them back. So we're going out to eat to celebrate. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan De La Cruz just got second in the world. Uh, so we're going to get Palo. Yeah, we're celebrating. Jordan, how's it feel being second in the world? How's it feel being the strongest female in the world in your weight class? <laughs> Yes. Can it be raw testicles? <laughs> well, test, 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 Part, part How bad was it, Spencer? It was kind of sour. <laughs> I gotta get a picture. You, you get a picture with you over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go like this. Like this. <laughs> getting a picture so this dude adopted like 15 14 kids and they all uh, were from different countries so this is Tashkent's sign of hospitality it's just the guy that adopted 14 kids <laughs> it's not like hospitality at all it sounds like a phone bill, <laughs> yeah, phone bill. <laughs> morning walks with Kevin now we're going through Tashkent bullshitting and this is what we see Back squat. No, you're on a deserted island. You can deserted only island. pick one. Uh, I like triples. Back squat variation. Safety squat bar or duffalo bar? Safety squat bar. One exercise that you think has completely changed or like impacted your lifters the most. That you use more like, they, like that aha lift. Uh, I don't know. It's, <laughs> no secrets in weightlifting, really. Yeah, I think that's a good answer. Genghis Khan. Yeah. Favorite assistance exercise for lower body or back? Reverse hypers. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Okay. Vernon, do you want to smell my socks? It's not too bad. <laughs> got done training so now we're heading into this is Jules is like last pretty heavy session uh, before she competes but she'll have she'll have two more workouts but this is the last like heavy one it's Monday so she competes Friday so I got my workouts in this morning and now we're uh, we're gonna train before CJ competes <laughs> Ice cream now with Kevin. Walk around Cash Camp. The world's smallest spoon. them last night and I hung them up so let's say it's like 745 let's see how long it takes for them to dry Ozzy what the what the hotel say to you Me? about the, the clothing uh, now uh, they warned me uh, about uh, then he put some clothes outside I mean so they just want us the police can find it for this they just want us how much would a police fine be? Uh, any kind of fine for such kind of thing. You never heard of one? No, never. <laughs> what do you, how much do you think a normal fine is? 
Almond pineapples can be 100,000 souls. It's not much, I think. We found that against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But nobody can find. I can guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> Presidente squats. El Presidente. A future, future president of Uzbekistan. She's a part of the place. Yo, you just got you just got a squat lesson from the best squatter in the world. You should pay him. One million sum. One million sum. Hundred dollars. Okay. Put it in the front. He's gonna be sore. Who is Islam? We have we have President Day. Good morning session with Jules. Haley did some good technical work. Jules finished up. She's got one day off tomorrow, then she's got a little warm-up on Thursday, then she's ready to roll Friday. So we're heading back to the hotel and then we got uh we're going to another bazaar. Can you figure out this simple math? How many religious I studies? Could. How many, you made me how many religious studies majors does it take to figure out <laughs> simple math? Uh, 100, Give me that 468 grand. Dude, wouldn't that be sick? We get to the point, y'all, give me 460,000 bucks. <laughs> House cleaning. Oh. So we're doing a little touristy stuff. This is the History Museum of Uzbekistan. in this part of the world. Genghis Khan conquered here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we say we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> 